enforcement. Brother Imran Shah, thank you so much. Good afternoon and good morning in your part. Good morning. Thanks for having me on. Well, this move, uh, I think it's something that uh, as more most of you in the UK, it has been welcomed as Shuffled becoming the first UK city to recognize Palestine. How is this being received? Well, definitely amongst the Muslim community, this is seen as a breakthrough. It's, uh, it's definitely amongst um, the general sort of uh, centre-left, um, those that are supportive of uh, essentially the Labour Party, but also the Scottish National Party, that sort of nexus of politics. This is something that's very welcome. And for a lot of us, it's very long overdue. So, I mean, just a bit of background. The UK, especially London, has been a key battleground for the Israeli state uh, when it comes to its propaganda war. Um, And Israel has tried to essentially keep very close ties with politicians and media networks. However, when it came to the lay of the land, the Palestinian cause has always enjoyed a lot of support when it came to the, the British public uh, across the board. So um, you would have expected, because of that, as we've seen with you know South Africa in the past, that, that, that public mass support should have been translated into um, uh, much more powerful political uh, action early on. But however, the, the frictions that the, the, the grassroots movements have been facing has been really the stranglehold of uh, Israeli influence when it comes to some sections of the British media and definitely some um, core sections of the British uh, political establishment. So this is really seen as a breakthrough now because that grassroots um, action, the, 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 the patience, the commitment and the investment is now starting to break through into, yes, low levels of political uh, uh, influence, but this, is, uh, but this will obviously uh, hopefully start to filter up, up, up to the system. Indeed. I mean, uh, when you look into how this has happened, it really gives hope uh, into th- some other, actually, uh, what, cities to follow suit in terms of recognizing Palestine as well. So I, I, I think this would be amongst uh, top of the agenda in, uh, in, in, in the UK Parliament. Well, I, I, it will definitely be a top of the agenda when it came, comes to the Labour Party. The Labour Party has said that it would recognise a, a Palestinian state as one of their major priorities in government. But until we see that change of of government, really, the Tory Party, which has very close links to uh, the Israeli uh, uh, state, especially with Netanyahu, who just came uh, uh, as a as a surprise visit, which is telling the sort of uh, 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 reception that uh, Israel gets in this country. Um, th- we won't see that sort of uh, real agenda in Parliament until uh, a general election is called and if Corbyn can win it at that general election. Indeed. And uh, Imran, as, as, as it is right now, um, how's things with regards to Jory response and how, how, how are things going on the ground? So we would um, we would expect this is something that we would definitely advocate and to try and encourage uh, other sort of councils to adopt, um, and like especially given that we uh, in subsequent years there has been um, uh, uh, sort of uh, a lot of strong Israeli influence when it comes to these sort of local councils, and that has been uh, uh, undermined by pro-Palestinian action. So you know th- this is uh, in itself is obviously captured your attention in South Africa, but there has been a number of smaller victories that has led to this, and we're going to continue that fight. This is something that can only improve and get better, and uh, and this is something that's not just a, a politically, a, uh, not just a fight for Palestine, but essentially seen as a wider context for dealing with um, the oppressed people of the world, in which Palestinians are only just one, and the Israeli influence and their connection with certain tyrants around the world um, is a sort of a collective to fight. So this is really a, a global movement uh, and we are we recognise that and that really empowers us uh, and uh, we hope that hopefully inshallah we can uh, uh, pioneer this movement to much bigger breakthroughs uh, for not just uh, the Palestinians but also likewise the Kashmiris and uh, and um, uh, and others that that are being influenced by the nationalist politics uh, of uh, of Zionism and, and the Israeli state itself. Absolutely, Brian uh, Run. Thank you so much for your time. Much appreciated, and we'll keep in touch indeed and enjoy the rest of the day.